Hey everyone, Larry Snow here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review on Clicky. Clicky is a web analytics tool, and I've been using it for about been using it for the last year or so on a couple of websites, and I can't say enough good things about it. Anyone that I come across um, that's asking me for a web analytics tool aside from Google Analytics, I highly recommend Clicky. And I'm just going to quickly show you some of the features. First, I wanted to start off with what type of account you can get. There's the free version, which you can start off with. Then there's the Pro, Pro Plus, Pro Platinum. Currently, I'm using the Pro because I can track more than web, one website with uh, page views. I've never come anywhere close to 30,000, but in case I do, I'll be ready for it, I guess. Um, and it's 10 bucks a month, which is super, super cheap. Obviously, you get uh, huge savings if you do pay per year. And it does offer some premium features, which are listed below. And here are some here. So we got the spy. I do not have the heat maps, although that might be something very significant for you to take a look at. Um, sub user accounts, you can do campaign tracking, Google search rankings. So there's a lot, a lot of features here that you can get if you go with the Pro or uh, Pro Plus or Pro Platinum or even custom. So like I said, I'm using the Pro version, so that's what we're going to see now. So here we are. You're looking at my dashboard. Quick overview of the dashboard. And uh, as you can see here, I have two websites. My old uh, SJC web design and securitydriver.com. And it gives you a quick synopsis. So here's your views over here. I'm sorry, visitor. This is your visitor graph. And you have uh, a quick synopsis of how many visitors you've had today and how many actions those visitors took. And if you click into a more drill down view, you click on SJC Web Design here, it'll give you even more of a dashboard, even more of a overall scheme of what's going on in your website. And I'm not going to touch on everything here, but suffice to say, you're going to have a, a great deal of information on your visitors who come to your website, which is very, very, very important. Um, you can see what they're looking at on the content side, the links where they come from to, to find your website, the searches that they make to come to your website, the locale of where they are in the world. Um, as you can see here, I've had a plus 866% from because I received four people from India. Um, and then you can drill down into the visitor list up here. You can see where they came from, when they came, and how they came. So I had um, <clears throat> a couple of people from Spain watch a video and then come to my website. So very, very important information. And then we get into the content. Uh, it tells you, obviously, how many hits you've had to that content. And as you can see here, this is my post most popular page of the day right now. Um, searches again. So it breaks each one down from the dashboard, right? And then it breaks each one down uh, at the top here. Visitors, content, searches, links platforms so whether they're using Google Chrome or Safari and then we get into the locale <clears throat> how many people for this particular day now we're not talking month or year here we're just talking for the day where they're coming from campaigns if I had any goals if I had any uh, setting up a goal um, and then there's this thing called spy which is kind of neat so you can see if someone is, you can actually set up a new visitor alert. So if a person that's coming to your website and and they're on currently on your website now, you get an alert that says that they're on your website and you can take a look at exactly what they're doing on your website, which is really cool. Um, 
and for and then it records uh, each person's um, actions uh, when they came to your website. So here's a person from Melbourne, Australia. They were on a mobile device. They used Safari. Here's their IP address, and they watched or. or I think that this is an article that they looked at seven ways you can use Google Hangouts. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so on and so forth. So here's one from South Africa. They were on Linux and Firefox and how to add social icons to WordPress header. So it has a ton, a ton of information. Um, you can have this thing called the big screen, which gives you a quick overview, a quick synopsis of everything that's going on on your website, sort of like a tweet deck type of feel. Um, and uh, this one I like, this is the Twitter. And uh, you can actually have a Twitter search set up through Clicky. And you can even get notifications that you know you've got results on this, but I don't have that. So I quickly typed in bodyguard to see who's talking about bodyguard, and I had 184 um, that have some various uh, word bodyguard in either their um, in their uh, tweets or in their profile. So um, there's retweets, replies, links, questions. Um, and I think this is a very neat feature because it, I don't have to go to Twitter and do this or Twitter search to do this. So, um, again, this is Clicky, and you can get to it by going to clicky.com. Very, very useful. And I quickly wanted to show you a comparison between Clicky and WordPress stats. So, WordPress stats only gives you the views, not the visitors, just the views, how many people are looking at stuff or not how many but what are they looking at what views you got for the day whereas clicky gives you the actual people that are looking at it so um, I find that clicky is much more useful when it comes to uh, analytics and they also have a plugin that you can install um, on your WordPress website a clicky plugin and I'm going to show you that now. Here it is, Clicky for WordPress. And you can install that. And then when you go to your uh, dashboard, when you log in, at least for me, at the very top, I have my WordPress stats and then I have my Clicky stats. So I can go right into Clicky right through my WordPress website. So very, very cool stuff. Lots of functionality. If you're looking for a web analytics tool for your WordPress blog, check out Clicky at clicky.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.